I think it's also important to understand that the exhibition has been very carefully conceived as a journey in itself that sort of reflects the journey that the artist himself made. Um, we have images of North and South here, which are both uh, a beginning and an end. And there's a, there's a way of negotiating this sequence of rooms in this space that brings you, first of all, you travel north to the North Pole, and then you travel from the South Pole backwards. And at the heart of the exhibition are two, what we might call, white rooms. These rooms uh, which contain the images from the polar extremes. And the presentation of the work changes. We don't have the black frames, we have the white frames. And the images themselves are, uh, are barely there. So there's a sense of making a journey to an extreme point and then coming back around again. I bought my camera, which is now 112 years old. It's a five by seven inch. The camera was made in 1898 in the state of New York. When I use the photograph, I make one picture and it is a considered event and a considered action. And through that consideration, the act of construction occurs. So for me, I never take anything because that seems first overly possessive and aggressive. I make something, I originate it. This picture, perhaps one of the most important I've ever made, is at the northmost point of the continent of Antarctica. It's one of the three or four most difficult places in the polar world, north or south, to get to. And it took me three months to, on, on a small 50-foot boat to finally figure out how to get there. Three months of very difficult sailing in, from the Arctic Cir Antarctic Circle to the top of the continent. I think my only purpose is to make a picture, one picture in one place that maybe says something about the respect, the excitement, the mystery, the admiration, the fearfulness, the wonder of being in a place that's so amazing. I give up everything for that, including any sense of my own personal, personal self to make the picture. That's all I wanna do, make the picture. The pictures that I've made moving from the whitest white to the blackest black seems so simple to say. It's almost any printmaker could do this. Photographically, however, what's interesting is that we're not really talking about true white or black. We're talking about lightness and darkness. What is the actual imaginable extremity of white as lightness and black as darkness? I believe in truth is unequalable in these pictures. I've gone to the edge of the physical limits of the material that are available in this point in the, the history of materials. In a way, that made me very, very, very happy. So I reach a physical edge that's more or less impossible, and the technical edge, which isn't the right word at all, but a craft edge, perhaps, that is truly impossible. Cooper's project is a conceptual work that is about mapping space, and particularly mapping an empty space. And here we have that kind of idea of emptiness uh, presented very clearly in these images, which are about place and time, but are a space in which we can, uh, into which we can project.